hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners in the last video we have seen how to design a simple login app in android studio so we have completed in the last video the design part of our simple login app in this video we will see how to write the code behind uh, this uh, button or login button so that we can perform some actions uh, or validate username and password and then perform some action on button click so let's get started now once we have uh, completed our design now we will go to the java folder here and in here we will go to the login.java folder okay so we already designed our you know login page here so what you can do is you can go to the login open login from here or directly go to the java folder and in here go to login.java folder okay and this is the java code behind that login page activity right now in here we are going to uh, declare some variables inside our uh, login class and then we will add a button action perform uh, method to our on create method so let's declare some variables we will declare two edit text boxes for username and password and we will declare one text view for attempt and for one for button so let's uh, do this so now we have uh, declared all our variables i have uh, declared one extra variable here which is called int attempt counter so we want to provide minimum attempt or maximum attempt to the user so that uh, you know for example we just want to provide five attempts to the user to uh, try login and password and if these attempts are uh, uh, gone then we want to uh, do some other option right so now uh, our variables are declared and now we are ready to create our uh, button click event so i will name my uh, method as public void login button and in here we will just cast all these variables which we have declared here so we will cast a username password and uh, the attempt and the button uh, variables so now we have casted all our four uh, variables which we have declared here and now we are going to add the button click event to our uh, login button and on the basis of this button click event we are going to decide some action okay so let's uh, take this button and create a button click event so login button dot set on click method or set on click listener and then we will create a new on click listener and inside this on click method we are going to write our code so first of all we want to check the text in the username and password so we will just uh, write if the password so the, we will get the text from the username 
text field so username dot get text and then we will convert it to the string and then we will check if it's equal to some uh, predefined username so dot equals and we will check if it's uh, equal to a keyword for example user okay or uh, you can uh, predefine your own username right and we also want to check uh, the password so we will uh, give the and and we will check for the password also okay so inside this if we will add this and condition and then we will add for same for the password okay so i'm going to copy this code and paste it here and here we will uh, check for for the password uh, is equal to pass for example okay so what we are doing in this if condition we are taking the text from the user in the user text field and the password text field and we are matching if the user name entered is user and password entered is equal to this string called pass and then if it's uh, true then what we are going to do is we are going to perform some action so let's perform some action we will just add a toast okay now this is for the condition where username and password is correct if the username and password is wrong he, here we can if the username and password is correct we can also redirect uh, this activity to the second user this we will see in a moment but let's define the else condition for this first so else what we are going to do here is we are going to uh, reduce the number of count right because uh, we have defined maximum number of count is equal to five here right so we can uh, you know reduce the number of count if the uh, login is failed so what we are going to do is first of all we will uh, show some message to the user that username and password is not correct and then what we are going to do is we can reduce the number of attempts so we can just reduce this counter by one so attempts minus minus this will attempts uh, this will uh, reduce the number of attempts by one and if the counter is zero we are going to disable if this counter is equal to zero then what we are going to do is we are going to disable this login button so that user cannot log in anymore dot set enabled is equal to false okay so this is the uh, condition we are going to write here if the username and password is correct we are going to show this message that username and password is correct otherwise if the username and password is not correct we are going to show this message that the username and password is not correct and we are going to reduce this um, counter by minus one and then we are going to uh, you know if the counter is zero then we are going to disable this button right now uh, we are going to call this method in our on create method so copy this method and uh, paste it in on create and here i can see some error so i just want to change this edit text to text view because this text view uh, for attempt count is a text view not uh, edit text now we will add the code 
to open the new activity when username and password is correct. So if this username and password is correct, below our message that username and password is correct, we are going to uh, create an instance of intent i or whatever name you want to give is equal to new intent and as an argument we will pass the path to our second activity for the user. So just open your android manifest.xml file which we have added last time and in here just see what name we have given here. So just copy this name from here android colon name is equal to whatever the name is. This should start from com.example. Whatever name you have given, okay. And in this login, we will just uh, in the intent instantiation, we will just paste this path here, okay. So we have pasted this path, and now we just want to start our activity, okay, using this intent. So start activity and just uh, pass this intent as an argument, okay. One more thing uh, we want to do here is we want to set the count to attempt text box, right? So what we can do here is we can take this attempt inside this uh, login method and just below the casting of these variable attempt dot set text and we will set text is equal to uh, whatever is the counter or current counter right now. So this is our counter and we will convert this counter to text first. Okay. So we will pass it like this integer dot then to text and then our counter here. Okay. So now what you need to do is once you have, uh, you know, uh, printed your the number of attempt just copy this uh, code from here and we also want to reduce the number of count and set this text to uh, the attempt text box in the else condition so once if the username and password is correct or not correct we will reduce the counter and set the text to our attempt text box here right so just paste this uh, here Okay, so this attempt dot set text you paste it uh, two times once uh, at the starting after the casting of all the variables here and second after the reduction of this counter by one in the else condition. Now we are going to run our program. So now our app is running and now we are going to enter username and password. Remember username should be user and uh, password should be passed in order to uh, you know a successful uh, login right. So we will enter first of all successful username and password or correct username and password. And if the username and password is correctly entered we, when we press this login button you see it so shows this message username and password is correct and we are redirected to the next page. Now let's uh, try to enter some random username and password and let's see the response. Okay so once uh, we enter the you know random username and password and when we click this login button it reduces the attempts and it shows username and password is not correct. Once again username and password is not correct and it reduces the attempts. Once again, once again and last time when we uh, click login once the attempts becomes zero then this login button is no more active. Okay so it's disabled. So in this way you can make a simple login application using Android Studio. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.